I never planned to be a career politician. That was never my goal. I got involved because I want to do things and help move the community forward. A leisurely stroll through the park, taking time to enjoy the scenery, get some fresh air and a little exercise isn't always a possibility when you dedicate your life to serving the greater needs of the public as a provincial politician. When I started, my, uh, my, uh, my daughter was, uh, I think, nine years old and my, my boy was uh, 12 and he's gone now. He's uh, 20 and he's left home and my daughter's 18, just completed high school and uh, she'll be gone. And you realize, oh, that's all over with. And where was I? Well, for a good deal of the time, I was in Victoria or uh, on one of the various tours, uh, on the agriculture tour, on the forestry tour. Ron Cantillon has served as Parksville Qualicum Liberal MLA for the last eight years. During his tenure, he filled many roles, including caucus chairman, parliamentary secretary for innovation and technology, to name a few, and he helped develop the government's seniors' action plan. But it's the local achievements that resonate most for him. So often people just think, well, your job is in Victoria. Well, it's not in Victoria. You serve the constituents here in the Nanaimo, in, in Parksville and in Qualicum. So you're meeting with them and you're listening to them and getting their input. That's very important. That's what you do is reflect their opinions. I think working with the communities is really what uh, makes the difference. And uh, I'm very happy to have worked with the Nanaimo, with the Conference Centre, with uh, the Airport Authority and the Harbour Commission. and. Uh, and very significantly to uh, help uh, what was then Mount Spina College become Vancouver Island University. I think that was a significant move for them and, and certainly opened up new opportunities for them. The father of five and now grandfather to two suffered a heart attack in October 2011. Well, it makes you realize that uh, you're not invulnerable. I mean, uh, it, it's a wake-up call, as they say, and uh, I've been working hard to rehab and get myself back. That's part of Pepper and I. We go for a five-kilometer walk every day and uh, she's really good. She drags me out there and, uh, and we go for our walks and that's been uh, a, very, uh, a very constructive way for me to get better and feel better. And I do now. Cantillon has announced better, he won't be seeking re-election. I, I was determined to get ready to run and I was ready to run and I thought, Ron, uh, you don't need to do this anymore. Other people can do it. And I just decided to step aside. What would you, would you hope that your successor can bring to this position, whether it's Liberal, NDP, Green, Conservative, whatever? Do the best you can. Listen to people and, and do what's right. Do what's in your heart. Do the right thing for the right reason. Don't do it for political reasons. Do it because it's the right thing for the community. Even though he will no longer be the face or ears of the provincial government, Ron says it's likely he will find other ways to be involved in the community. There's lots to be done in the Nanaimo yet, and I'll, uh, I'll see what comes my way. In Nanaimo, I'm Ned Lucas.